Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. No more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy day, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. What now? We're gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh! Liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe! Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. You keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shot out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect, right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Anybody can ping the body work. Not the car, Trevor. You're no redneck. When in doubt, take him out. What the hell? Nice. Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. Go for the tires, not the car. Looks like maybe you could use some more practice. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. 
We'll get a better shot from up here. All right, I see him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Sing to me now, song dog, and another. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. Just reloading. Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You hope what? Forget it. Just don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. We're two local businesses supporting each other, Melvin. I don't have to shop here. All the disreputable people smuggling guns into the country these days, just be grateful for my patronage. Of course. Sorry, Trevor. We go way back, you and me, don't we, Trevor? So let's be nice. It don't hurt anymore. All my teardrops have dried. No more walking the floor. With that old burning inside. Just to think. I've seen you in worse moods, so I'm hopeful that this won't end too nasty. Have fun! I think that you made the right choice.
being lied to by everyone. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash, hillbilly, Wallace. You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite <laughs> Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, 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 you're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! Uh, this music's all fucking wrong! That's what I'm looking for! You! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Trevor, it's business! That wide-eyed idiot was mine! It's business, fella! You want to discuss it? We're at the farm. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family mess business you got when I'm done! Mm. 
all of you are going to die! I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Huh. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. What's left when I'm done? Everything you built, see how it feels. Burn you, disrespectful pricks!
There you are, handsome. Hello, Mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. Welcome to my shop, honey. Let's see what you like. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fine. Yep. Thanks for stopping by. I'll have to keep an eye out for you. You took that well. Thanks. Hey there, ready for some inky pain? Can't go wrong with that. You know, you're not much of a bleeder. That's art right there. No refunds. Hope you're paying cash. Yep, looks good. That's a cool one. That's a masterpiece. I'm good. Hope you like that. If you want private area tattoos, those are my favorite. That's a good one. You took that well. Be good.
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. Oh. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so, so we're heading to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Where are your people at in Los Santos? You just my cousin there, Floyd. He bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, uh, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sake, another trapped of the lost descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want us? Well, send them on their way to begin with? Great, as a way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them gifts. Something nice? Like flowers or a okay?
brothers. So long. been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, Pete. 
Trevor! Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away. I need everything to make. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while. But his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, OK? Just let me concentrate on the road. But Trevor! Hey! Aw. Your brain is a dangerous operation. It's a 50-50 chance you might stay and you might get to come back. I said, well, if you can't help me, doctor, why can't I be my doctor and help myself and smoke me a miracle joint? That's it. That giant sprawl. Los Santos. Oh! Get you get! Get you get! Get the tumor of the munchies. And he slides So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Wealthy residents are protesting the planned extension of the Metro. The erection bill wars rage on. In Hillbilly News, more violence at the Alamo Sea, where local drug dealers clashed with Chicano gang the Aztecas at the Ace Liquor Store in Sandy Shores, which is an alleged front for a methamphetamine manufacturing operation. Our reporter spoke to this man at the scene. It was terrifying. I was really scared that it would affect the street price of crystal. I love smoking crystal. Could Facade's monopoly of the global operating system market be under threat? Jackson Skinner, head of product development at Facade, is at the center of a data mining scandal today. Following accusations, the software company sold sensitive customer information. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck? I don't live here. Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accent like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. 
That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club, and they fell in lust, and he bought her a pair of fake troll tits, even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iFind maps. I'll give you directions. It's Jay here. Sled on rail. Now keep going. All of our swindle sheets and left them sitting on scale. I turned right By here. The time we hit that shy town. Them bears was getting smart. They brought up some We're Just straight over this one. The Illinois National Guard. This is the place. Tapes. I think it is, at least. Of every size. Yeah, them chicken coops was full of bears. Cousin Floyd! It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. Uh... I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too.
just chillin', you know. what about you?